So Awdad were originally imported out of Chad, Africa, and they are uh, on the Barbary Coast. So they're also known as Barbary Sheep or Awdad. And they're kind of as close as you could ever get to a cross between a goat and a sheep. Um, kind of one of those critters that seems like God stuck a couple of different critters together and made an Awdad. They kind of have Awdad goat poop and they got goat eyes and then they act like a sheep and they fight like something unique to themselves and they got these weird chaps and they're just a super unique critter. I mean they dust in bowls like a quail and they're just a different critter. So this is actually my second Audad hunt I've been on and and the last one I, I tried with a bow for a couple of days and then ended up taking one with a rifle and this time I just said you know it's a bow or, bow or nothing and so I just really wanted to it's one of those bucket list goals. I wanted to do what a lot of people said was impossible and what a lot of people said was going to be super hard and I knew it was going to be super hard and I just really wanted to stick an odd head with my bow, spot and stock and on free range and on top of that we were trying to capture it on film and that was the goal. Why is it super hard? Odd head are just super hard to kill with a bow because they they smell like an elk, they are super at attention all the time. They got great hearing, they got great eyes, they got a great nose and zero curiosity. So it's no, they bed, they bed smart. They're generally in groups. They're just a super hard critter to get in bow range. So from right behind him is about, like I said, 40, 40. 
75 yard shot and he's bedded perfect for it. He's moved his bed three times since we started this stalk, but he just keeps spinning and relocating. So that's what I think we should do is get around him and then come back over the opposite side. All right, let's do it. So we should be about 100 yards, maybe 90 from him right now. I tried to air this way. So when we come up over, in case he's tucked in, we'll be able to see him. It's really hard to tell exactly where we need to cross over. So I'm gonna air to cross over away from him rather than right on him. And then we can always back back out and reposition. So we just gotta go for super careful. killed him. Holy cow! No way! I freaking killed him! No way! No way did I make that shot! Thank you, God! No way! Oh, no way! Oh, no way! 
No way. I can't believe I made that, that shot. That was awesome. Dude. That was a guest 70 yard <laughs> shot. Guest yardage. That's all God. There's just no way. I can't take credit. Oh my God. He's a toad too. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Did you see there was another one? Mm -mm. There was another. That's what spooked. Oh. One spooked from over here that we didn't even know was there. And so he stood up. Such a cool critter. Oh my goodness. Dude, thank you. Uh, let me pray for you, buddy. Thank you, God, for making me a hunter. Thank you for putting this beautiful animal on this planet for me to hunt. Thank you for the meat that it'll provide. Thank you for the memories that it'll provide. And I just, I feel so blessed by participating in nature. Thank you, God, for this opportunity and this animal. Thank you. Thank you for giving up your life for me, bud. I've killed a lot of animals with my bow, and that was just one of those moments where, you know, it, it's the extra stuff. It's the feeling blessed by God that, you know, that the, the right things happened. I mean, to call it lucky is, is really not fair to all the years I've dedicated to shooting my bow and having good instinct, but also to, to take credit for a 70-yard guest shot and having to hit him in the heart and all that stuff, to not credit God with, you know, some orchestration there would be, you know, egotistical. And so I just felt lucky. I felt, I felt fortunate. I felt blessed. I felt all those things that you feel when you had a multi-year focus to try to achieve something then it all comes together and you didn't feel like you were totally at the wheel yourself you know I mean I, I just felt fortunate <laughs>